Here we'll take a closer look at the effects of pH on different indicators and focus on a special point called the transition point. Here is the generic equilibrium equation that can represent any indicator. As an example here, we'll consider an indicator where the acid form HIN is yellow and the base form IN- is blue. Recall that the equilibrium position and the relative amounts of HIN and IN- in an indicator solution depends on the concentration of H3O+, or the pH. If we add an acid to our indicator, which is the same as decreasing the pH, the hydronium ion concentration will quickly increase. The increase in the concentration of H3O plus is a stress. The equilibrium will counteract this stress by shifting to the left. The result is the concentration of the acid form, HIN, is higher than it was originally, and the concentration of the base form, IN minus, is lower than it was originally. So when an acid is added to an indicator, the concentration of the acid form, HIN, becomes greater than the concentration of the base form, IN minus. Now we'll add a base to our indicator. That's the same as increasing the pH. The OH minus from the base will neutralize some of the H3O plus, and the concentration of H3O plus will decrease. The decrease in the concentration of hydronium is a stress to the equilibrium, and in order to counteract this stress, it will shift to the right. As a result of adding a base and the consequent shift to the right, the concentration of the acid form HIN is lower than it was originally, and the concentration of the base form IN minus is higher than it was originally. So when a base is added to an indicator, the concentration of the base form IN minus becomes greater than that of the acid form HIN. For every indicator, there's a certain pH at which the concentration of the acid form HIN is just equal to the concentration of the base form IN minus. The pH value at which this occurs is different for each indicator. The point at which the concentration of the acid form HIN is just equal to the concentration of the base form IN minus is called the transition point. At the transition point, the color of the indicator will be the result of a 50 50 mixture of the two forms. In this example, which could be bromothymol blue, HIN is yellow and IN minus is blue. So the color at the transition point will be green. In a different indicator, orange 4, HIN is red and IN minus is yellow. So at the transition point of orange 4, the color will be the result of a 50 50 mixture of red and yellow, which is orange. Now we'll go back and consider the equilibrium equation for an indicator. Using the equation, we can write the Ka expression for this indicator. Ka equals the concentration of H3O plus times the concentration of IN minus over the concentration of HIN. Now we'll focus on the transition point. Remember at the transition point, the concentration of HIN is equal to the concentration of IN minus. So at the transition point, because the concentration of IN minus and HIN are equal, they can be cancelled out of the expression. So at the transition point, we can say that the Ka of the indicator is just equal to the hydronium ion concentration. Remember, this is true only at the transition point. So we know that at the transition point of an indicator, the hydronium ion concentration is equal to the Ka of the indicator. At this point, we'll take the negative log of both sides of this equation. So we can say that the negative log of Ka of the indicator is equal to the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. The negative log of Ka is called pKa. So we'll write pKa of the indicator here. And of course, the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration is equal to the pH. So we substitute pH for the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration here. So we get the equation that at its transition point, the pKa of the indicator is equal to the pH, where the pKa is defined as the negative log of the Ka of the indicator. 
Remember that the pKa of the indicator is equal to the pH only at the transition point of the indicator and at no other pH. To find the Ka of an indicator when we know the pKa, just like the hydronium ion concentration is the antilog of negative pH, we can say that Ka is equal to the antilog of negative pKa, which is 10 to the negative pKa. We'll make a note of this up here. We can use the indicator table to find the pKa and Ka of any indicator. The midpoint of the pH range in which the color change occurs is the pH at the transition point. And we know that the pH at the transition point is the pKa. We also know that the Ka is 10 to the negative pKa. Let's do an example of finding the Ka of an indicator. We're asked to find the Ka for the indicator brome cresol green. We locate brome cresol green on the indicator table. The pH range in which its color change occurs is 3.8 to 5.4. The pKa of brome cresol green is equal to the pH at the transition point, which is the pH at the midpoint of the range, or 3.8 plus 5.4, all over 2 which is 9.2 over 2, which comes out to 4.6. So now we know that the pKa of brome cresol green is 4.6. We can find the Ka using the formula Ka equals 10 to the negative pKa, which is 10 to the negative 4.6, which comes out to 2.5 times 10 to the negative fifth. But the pH values given on the indicator table are to one decimal place, or one significant figure. So the Ka value of 2.5 times 10 to the negative fifth is rounded to 3 times 10 to the negative fifth. So we can summarize by stating that the Ka of brome cresol green is 3 times 10 to the negative fifth. Now we'll draw what we call a pH line for brome cresol green. We put markers on the pH graph at 3.8 and 5.4. We know that the pH at the transition point of brome cresol green is 4.6. So we'll label the transition point at a pH of 4.6. Remember at the transition point, the concentration of the acid form of the indicator, HIN, is equal to the concentration of the base form, IN-. For brome cresol green, if the pH is anywhere above the transition point, 4.6, the equilibrium favors the base form, IN-, and the concentration of IN- minus is greater than that of HIN. And if the pH is anywhere lower than the transition point, 4.6, the equilibrium favors the acid form, and the concentration of HIN is greater than that of IN-. Minus. Study this diagram. You should be able to draw a similar diagram for any indicator on the table. Of course, every indicator has its own unique transition point. We'll do a quick summary of what is true at the transition point of an indicator. By definition, at the transition point, the concentration of the acid form, HIN, is equal to the concentration of the base form, IN-. At the transition point, the Ka of the indicator is equal to the hydronium ion concentration. And the pKa of the indicator is equal to the pH. And the color is a 50-50 mixture of the colors of HIN and IN-. Thank you.